Welcome, Supervisor. Thank you, Chair Aguilar Curry, and I want to um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today in opposition of SB 649. My name is Erin Hannigan. I'm Vice Chair of the Board of Supervisors for Solano County, and I can't agree more with the previous speakers in opposition. And with all due respect, Senator Hueso, let me begin by saying that SB 649 would give a multi-million dollar handout to the world's largest telecom companies while taking millions from local budgets for police, fire, and other key services. SB 649 would give the wireless giants virtually limitless ability to install antennas, wireless boosters, and whatever they want, wherever they want, on any publicly owned streetlight, traffic signal pole, or any wood pole with electricity cable or telephone lines attached without any local input. This bill subsidizes the private sector with below market rates for the usage of public assets paid for by city residents. This bill voids the existing deals on the books with various cities around the state, adding millions to telecom company profits. This bill does not require telecoms to spend money on expanded wireless access for the underserved communities, one of the stated reasons for this bill by proponents. And Chair Aguiar Curry, SB 649 will not guarantee access to broadband, nor will it increase access in your district where it doesn't exist today. The reality is 5G technology will not be available for years. The truth is that telecom site selection and local permitting processes has not deterred the industry from growing as demand for new technology has grown. I I support new technology for all the reasons stated by the author, and I support working with the telecom industry to place their networks in locations that work, but not at the risk of carte blanche equipment placement without local government control. Please stop the big ripoff rip of SB 649 and oppose this bill. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Chair, members of the committee. I am Supervisor Kim Dalbovan from Calusa County, and I'm here representing the rural county representatives of California as well as the Calusa County Board of Supervisors. I'd just like to let you all know that we voted unanimously at RCRC to oppose this bill. Living in a broadband, unserved, and underserved area means that we have difficulty in enacting in, in attracting industry into our already economically challenged areas. In addition to lacking access to staple internet in schools, public libraries, not to mention that we lack telehealth as well. In short, the 35 rural counties of the state are heavily interested in bringing broadband to our communities. But that is not what this bill does. Let me say that again. SB 649 does not bring broadband to the rural communities. This, does not, this bill does not increase deployment in rural areas, and in fact, it provides a perverse incentive for wireless carriers to continue building in urban areas. The reality is for our rural communities, we continue to fall behind as the digital divide increases. SB 649 does nothing to solve that problem. In fact, this bill creates other community concerns by removing any ability for local government to generate revenue from the lease of taxpayer-owned property. By taking away a source of discretionary income, this bill will impact local programs such as police, roads, and social services. The cost of this bill to our communities, to your communities, Chair, is too much. There is no urgency in getting this bill done. We ask that you respectfully, that this committee respectfully holds this bill so that a holistic, inclusive, and substantive conversation about broadband deployment can occur, not only for the urban communities, but for the rural as well. Thank you. Welcome. Madam Chair, good afternoon, members of the committee. My name is Don Saylor. I'm a Yolo County supervisor, and I want to share with you that Yolo County yesterday voted to oppose six, SB 649. In doing so, we joined 31 other counties, from Inyo to Del Norte to San Francisco, Kern, and Los Angeles, as well as the, the statewide CSAC board has also opposed this bill. As local governments have a responsibility to protect the quality of life for our residents, to ensure public input and in decisions that affect our communities, and to protect the public's investment in infrastructure. SB 649 interferes with each of these core local government responsibilities. And it would also remove a tool that we have to expand broadband in underserved areas. Recently in Sacramento, an agreement between Verizon and the city resulted in free Wi-Fi available in communities because they could have that as a condition of allowing these small cell tower locations. Under SB 649, counties will no longer have the ability to hear public input on the location and design of small cells. 
The antennas could be installed just outside of constituents' homes or in communities that have invested in improved infrastructure or aesthetics by undergrounding utilities. They could also be placed on public buildings, uh, such as iconic water towers. Communities in the coastal zone and registered historic districts would retain their discretion under SB 649. Underprivileged inland communities, such as much of the area of Yolo County, would not have that same discretion. That simply seems unfair. SB 649 limits the rents local governments can charge a wireless company for use of local traffic signals or streetlights. Therefore, it is clearly a subsidy. It isn't a free public access. Some local governments have been able to negotiate leases upwards of $3,000, while others have negotiated free access, as I've mentioned. Despite the significant public subsidy, the bill does not impose you, any requirement. We ask that you send this bill back. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. My name is Brent Cooper. I'm the Community Development Director for the City of American Canyon, located in the proud District 4, of which Chair Aguiar Curry is our representative. I'm here representing the uh, City of American Canyon City Council. Um, the City Council is strongly opposed to SB 649, uh, primarily for aesthetic reasons and the loss of local discretion on aesthetic installations. Uh, American Canyon is happy to participate in any stakeholder group discussion on how a ministerial system could be put in place that protects local aesthetics, and um, we are willing and happy to participate. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you for the opportunity to address you this evening. I'm Mayor Laura Hoffmeister, Mayor of the City of Concord, and Concord is an Assembly Member Timothy Grayson's district. Uh, today, I want to share with you that along with the League of California Cities, the City of Concord is also opposed to this bill. It was mentioned earlier that it does not help in the digital divide. It allows cherry picking of the industry for their deployment of the services. It also does not have cumulative limits on the ancillary equipment that would be in the ground. And it does not require that the latest technology be deployed. We support technology. We think it's very imperative. We would love to have a dialogue to enhance the bill and to address our concerns. We support streamlining efforts, but at this point, this bill is not ready for prime time, and we believe it needs additional work. Uh, another point is accidents that could happen because if the equipment was to fall on the road and you have multiple carriers on the pole, Who's going to be responsible? How does that get divided up? You've all been in local government. You know who gets hit first. It's the city. And then we have to go back after all the carriers to try to figure out who's responsible for, and apportion out damages and costs. So I think a lot of things still need to be looked at. I applaud the industry for trying to do streamlining. This is not it. This is not ready for prime time. Let us work with you to, and them to come up with some better language. Thank you. Good afternoon, honorable chair and committee members. Thank you. I'm Crystal Jabara. I'm a council member in the city of San Marcos. I'm also the past president for the San Diego Division of the League of California Cities. Um, both entities have sent letters in opposition to this. Um, I want to thank my local assembly person, Marie Waldron, who's always been a great representative of the people, um, has been in favor of public um, uh, local public control. I think a lot of the elected officials have said many of the points that I want to make, but I, I just want to emphasize the fact that this technology is not ready to roll out. This bill is not the right bill. Send it back, put something meaningful together, go ahead and figure out a way to streamline processes, to have fair and reasonable fees charged, to have some public input. If you pass this, all of that is taken away from the local people, the people that we as council members that many of you have to answer to, and they're asking us why they don't have any input anymore. We will remove money from our budgets for police and fire. We count on some of that revenue. We provide free Wi-Fi in our parks to our children at our libraries. All of that will be gone. It will be taken out of our hands. We'll have no control over that. So I am respectfully asking you to send this one back, create one that's a little more meaningful for our local communities. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Megan Sally Wells. I'm a council member and former mayor of Culver City. And I've come to speak on behalf of my colleagues on the city council and my community. Uh, SB 649 hands a blank check to the Telecommunications 
corporations, and it rips apart community benefits, community interests, and community input. Local governments all across our great state are standing in opposition to this bill. We're on the front lines of our community representation, and we're asking, we're here to tell you that SB 649 hurts our constituents who are also your constituents. How many people come to you and ask for less democracy, less representation? The telecommunications industry might be asking you for it, but our communities are decidedly not. The biggest losers in this bill are apartment tenants living in upper story units. They will be the most severely impacted by infrastructure over which they have no voice and no choice. Historically, they're often the least represented in the halls of power. I'm standing up for them, and I'm hoping that you will too. In yesterday's Sacramento Bee, this bill was called the Triple Ripoff. It's in your hands to stop it. There's a difference between streamlining and steamrolling. Please vote no on SB 649. Um, right now, I have one minute and 23 seconds left. Um, you can have the whole one minute, and we'll give you the 23 seconds. And then after that, we'll have me choose the fact sure. I'd like to follow. So I, I apologize. But this is the I understand, uh, Madam Chair Members. Julian Devoris on behalf of the urban counties of California. I just want to mention a couple points that haven't been raised. The mandatory leasing has been raised, but the fact that the bill also requires uh, if a county or city wants to ever use that street light or pole again, we have to pass a board resolution with substantial findings to even have access to that pole again. We find that unprecedented. Uh, I've represented counties for 12 years. I've worked in the, here in the building for 20. I have never seen a, a move like this where the state is telling cities and counties, here's our infrastructure and here's the cost. Uh, I also wanted to mention the increased uh, liability for local governments. And I also wanted to mention that local governments, whenever we do a new program or we're given a new duty, we have to report. We have to say, this is how we're spending your local public dollars. There's no reporting and no accountability on this bill, and I urge you to vote no. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lindsay Horvath. I'm a city council member in the city of West Hollywood and former mayor and proudly represented by Assembly Member Bloom. I also serve um, on the board of directors for the LA County Division of the League of California Cities as well as on the executive board for California Contract Cities Association. We are all united in our opposition to this bill. Thank you. Great, thank you. I have 10 seconds left for anyone's quick speech, and then we're going to just me too. Thank Coalition you. Coalition of Concerned California Cities uh, strongly opposes this bill because it's um, it overrides proven construction safety codes, and, it, and it's an unconstitutional gifting of the people's property to the for-profit wireless industry. We urge your no vote. Thank you. Thank you. And if we could start with the Me Too's, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you, Chair. Members of the committee, Ronnie Verdugo here on behalf of the League of California Cities, 175 cities on the record in opposition. League of California Cities is also opposed. Uh, respectfully ask for your no vote. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Chair and Members. Lauren De Valencia representing the American Planning Association here in strong opposition. Thank you. Hi, J.D. Wasilko, San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency, and we are opposed to SB 649. Don Gilbert for San Francisco PUC in opposition. Nicolo DeLuca here in opposition on behalf of the following 23 cities and counties, Oakland, San Leandro, Walnut Creek, Palo Alto, Emeryville, Berkeley, San Pablo, Santa Ana, Hayward, Hesperia, Tulare, Buena Park, Laguna Beach, Imperial County, Placentia, Mission Viejo, Stanton, Brea, Fullerton, Huntington Beach, Mariposa County, Mendota, and South San Francisco. Thank you. Good afternoon, Madam Chair and Members. Karen Lang on behalf of the Napa County Board of Supervisors, the City and County of San Francisco, and Mayor Edwin Lee, Kern, San Luis, Stanislaus, Fresno, San Joaquin, and Sonoma, all in adamant opposition to this bill. Thank you. Sylvia Solis, Shaw on behalf of the City of Santa Monica in strong opposition. Thank you. Andrew Antwi on behalf of the City of Beverly Hills in strong opposition. Thank you, Madam Chair, members. Kathy Christian on behalf of the County of Marin in strong opposition. Jonathan Clay on behalf of the County of San Diego and the City of Encinitas in opposition. Michael Arnold on behalf of the City of Oxnard in opposition. Madam Chair, members of the committee, Paul Gonzalez with Joey Gonzalez and Son. We represent over 60 cities throughout the state, and in the interest of time, I won't list off those cities, but we are opposed. Jordan Ellison with Ellison Wilson Advocacy on behalf of the cities of uh, Inglewood, La Cunada, Flint Ridge, Santee, and El Centro. 
Uh, William Now, registered voter. Uh, this bill is portrayed to be uh, the only way to provide wireless technology progress. It's not the only way. And I will Thank you. proceed by handing out the rest of my statement. Thank you. Hi. This is Steve Wallach on behalf of the County uh, Board of Supervisors for San Bernardino County and Ventura County in opposition. And Jamie Miner on behalf of the City of Downey and Town of Apple Valley in opposition. Thanks. <clears throat> Bob Naylor on behalf of Orange County in part for public safety reason in opposition. Antoinette Stein, PhD, on behalf of Environmental Health Trust and the children of the state of California. Please vote no. Cyrus Devers for the Protect Our Local Streets Lobbying Coalition opposed to the bill. Thank you. Laura Parr on behalf of the city of Riverside, Long Beach, and San Carlos in opposition. Michael Murphy with the city of Santa Clarita opposed. Will Murat, uh, City of Vallejo, City Manager's Office, opposed the bill. Audrey Derper, on behalf of the County of Sacramento, the County of San Mateo, and the Association of Environmental Professionals in opposition. Madam Chair, David Jones, on behalf of the cities of Glendale, Burbank, uh, the cities of Marin County, uh, Murrieta, Pasadena, San Marcos, and Santa Rosa, in opposition. Michael Davitt, President of California Contract City, 74 City Strong, opposed. Marcel Rodardi, Executive Director of California Contract Cities Association, 74 cities, 8 million residents were opposed. Madam Chair and members, Doug Houston representing the California Park and Recreation Society. We are also opposed. Uh, good afternoon. Kyle Jones with Sierra Club California and also on behalf of Environmental Working Group and California League of Conservation Voters opposed. Thank you. Mary Beth Brangan, Ecological Options Network opposed. Thank you. Lori Johnson, on behalf of Monterey County Board of Supervisors, the cities of Salinas and Watsonville, in opposition. Good afternoon. Tony Rice, on behalf of the city of Whittier, in opposition. Hello, Jean Hurst here today on behalf of the boards of supervisors of the counties of Los Angeles, Riverside, Santa Clara, and Santa Cruz, in opposition. Hello, Madam Chair, members. Tom Stallard, on behalf of the city of Woodland. Cities are not roadblocks. We don't want to be roadkill either, so we'll oppose this bill. Thank you. Terry Kilgore, Assistant City Manager for City of Vallejo and former Innovation Manager for the City of San Jose, who negotiated many of the terms of the deals that were quoted earlier to tell you those are erroneous, and we are strongly opposed to this bill. Thank you. Sandy Maurer, Director of the EMF Safety Network, strongly opposed based on the science of wireless harms. Thank you. Good afternoon, Madam Chair. Ignacio Hernandez on behalf of the Utility Reform Network or TURN in opposition to the bill. Are there any others in opposition? Uh, first, I'd just like to thank all of you for doing the timeline. I know it's um, tough to do that, so thank you very much for having the patience. To